What's up guys, welcome to another video and in today's video I wanna go over four best ways to get consistent face for your AI influencer. The thing is that the biggest struggle of most people is that they discover that they can do AI influencers. They discover that they can make money through it. So they go, they generate a picture, then they go and generate another picture, but the face looks different. First picture looks like this and second picture looks like this. And if you actually want your AI influencer to look realistic, if you actually want to get paid by your AI influencer, you must master these techniques to actually be able to get a consistent face like this one. The good thing for you that there are many methods now because it's not 2023 anymore, but 2026 and companies are releasing better and better image edit models. So I believe in like 12 or a little bit more months, LoRa will not be needed and you will be able to use some Chinese edit model. The reason why you still need to use a LoRa is that if you don't and you rely, for example, on only Nano Banana Pro, you will not be able to generate high quality, not safe for work images and not safe for work images are the thing that gets you paid. We are going to go over four latest methods to get actually the best facial consistency about pluses and minuses of each method. And the methods are face swap, open source image edit models, API image edit models, and training Allura. So method number one is the actual face swap. The good thing about face swap is that you can actually pick an image you like, and then you can just face swap it. But the bad thing is that you will have problems with copyright. If you literally steal someone's image and then face swap it, they can sue you because you have stolen their image. The thing about most face swaps on the internet is that they literally suck. For example, Picasso or Hicksfield face swap, they are not high quality and you will not get good results with them. So if you actually decide to use face swap, I highly recommend that you use our Insta or face swap that is not free. You can get it from our Discord by joining, going to channel start here and clicking on buy VIP. One last thing before I actually show you the face swap is that the use case of it that I recommend you use is not to create a ready images for Instagram because you will have problems with copyright, but I highly recommend you to create a data set that later you can train on and later you will be able to generate images through the LoRa you have trained on this data set. So you are actually not copying anyone and you are making your own images. So now I have loaded the Instaro face swap and only thing you need to do is to drag and drop your character image. And now you drag and drop the images you want to face swap to. You can actually do it in batch so you do not waste any time. For the purposes of this video, I will face swap just one image so we don't have to wait for it. So this is the image that I have downloaded from Instagram that you will face swap on. And now I just press run. And the good thing about it is that if you would do a normal face swap with Nano Banana Pro, which are we using right now, the thing is that Nano Banana Pro would make the boobs smaller and would actually make the character a lot smaller. So it is only good for certain body types. And actually right now you can see that it automatically masked only the face. Now you can just confirm it and wait for the final result. And you can see that the entire masking process has been finished and you have successfully face swapped your image without changing the body proportions. So as I said, if you want to get it, go to our Discord. But now we are moving into number five which are open source image edit models. The most promising example is the Gwen image edit model, which is okay. The image edit models means that, it you can, means that you can upload a reference image and tell him create a photo of this person. That way you can get a good consistency, but for now it is still not a match for Nano Banana Pro or Seadream so this is just an experimental tool. Soon we should also get released Z image edit that is not released as of making this video, which promises to actually make the best image edit models. So I'm not gonna take a long time on this because this is not that much relevant and we are gonna move into API image edit models. What is API? API means that the model is running on someone else's server. For example, Nano Banana Pro is running on Google's server 
And how it works is that you send a prompt to Google and Google for 14 cents will return to you back an image. How it works is actually pretty simple. You go to your favorite AI provider. So now I'm going to use wavespeed.ai. You will find Nano Banana Pro edit model. You will drag and drop your reference image and you will just tell him create a photo of this woman in a gym wearing red shorts. And now you just press run. It will cost you 14 cents as you have seen. You just wait and you will get photo of this girl in a gym. Before it loads, we have to talk about the problem. The first problem is that because it is hosted by Google, you will not be able to generate high quality, not safe for work images because Google blocks it. And another problem is the price problem. You don't want to pay 14 cents for an image for the rest of your life. So I highly recommend to use it to create a data set and then train your LoRa model that you will be able to use completely for free for the rest of your life. And now you can see that we have generated an image of our AI influencer, but the face does not look that similar. So for now we can choose CDream edit model, which is similar thing, but different provider. And we will do the absolute same process. And the good thing about CDream is that you will generally get more consistent face than if you would use Nano Banana Pro. So the secret trick that everyone is using is to generate consistent pictures with the CDream model, then take that picture and put it into Nano Banana to enhance the skin details. Because C-Dream will give you better facial consistency, but Nano Banana Pro will give you better details. And as you can see, now we have our AI influencer in the gym wearing red shorts. So what I would do now is to take that image, put it into Nano Banana Pro and make it a little bit better. And now we are getting to the last method, which is actually training a LoRa model. This is still the best method to get the best possible results to generate, a, to generate NSFW. But it is the most complicated, but once you learn it, it is free and you are able to get the best possible results. I don't want to go into too much of a detail because I have already talked about training a LoRa model on this channel, but to actually make it sense for you, I have this retard explanation so we can understand it, so we can understand what is a LoRa. Imagine there is some billion dollar company and they decide to do an image model. So they take 10 million images and somehow do the magic with AI and then train it. And each of these images that they use are captioned and they have images of a blonde girl and they have this image, this image, this image, this image. And you see that the images look different and that is okay because that's how the model is trained. So what you have to do is to take their entire file, their, their trained model, add 20 images of your AI influencer and tell the model that this is an image of this keyword that you are going to use. And then once you train it and use the LoRa model, every time you are going to use the keyword, you will get image of your AI influencer. It's that simple. However, it is a technical thing. So if you want to understand it more, I highly recommend you watch my LoRa training video I have on my YouTube. So final thoughts, how to actually choose. If you want images that are ready to post, stay away from FaceFob because you will get copyright issues. I highly recommend you only use FaceFob to create a data set and then train a LoRa model on that data set. If you are a beginner and want to have the least amount of pain and spend the least amount of time and you are okay with just 80% of the quality and not being able to generate high quality, not safe for work images, then go with API models. But of course, if you want to get the best possible results, train your own LoRa model. It is going to take weeks of your life. You are going to have a lot of headaches. But once you understand it, you will be able to generate anything you want with the highest possible quality. If you want to get the most advanced face swap that you have seen, go to Start Here channel on our Discord. Link is in the description. Click on Buy VIP and you will get the entire package. Bye.